I am about to head out and I just need to wrap up a gift really quickly. But look what I made for my friend. My best friend's back in town and I did it. I crocheted her some like um Galentine's gift and I'm like I'm like high key proud of these. So like let me just show you. But like there are these um balaclavas that I crocheted with like an adjustable hood. Like you can like pull on the strings to make it tighter. Look at the cute little white string. And this one I decided to go like monochromatic and make it all gray. But um, I'm a newbie, like it's only been like two months since I started crocheting and this was actually a really easy pattern to follow. Um, and they turned out great, you know, for a beginner. I also got her some jelly. Also, no gift is complete without a little note and I'm just gonna wrap it up really quickly in this parchment paper. I saw something cute on Instagram where this girl um, wrapped it up in parchment paper, paper and then she like used Sharpie to like make like the ribbons and the bows. I'm gonna attempt that, so wish me luck. <laughs> I was gonna show y'all my gift wrapping process, if you can call it a process, because normally I don't gift wrap. This time I thought I'd go the extra mile and try. I'm not gonna show you how I wrapped it or like the process because it's not great. It didn't turn out great, but I tried. I don't wanna show you. Don't look at the back, don't look, I'm not gonna show you the back. <laughs> What is this? This is not what I saw on Pinterest. This is not what the Pinterest girlies are doing. It's what's inside that counts, you know? So let's hurry up and go give it to her. I'm so excited. You know I never wrote gifts. Yeah, what is it? <laughs> I started messing good. up from here. That's pretty good. <laughs> no. I cannot draw like Look at the back. Look at that. <laughs> I gave up drawing over here. I was going to go all the way around. But I'm like, she's not going to She's not gonna see the back. <laughs> oh, you're so angry. Oh, my God. Did you? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ah! I was like, but oh. I realized when I bought it, you already went to Japan. It's so you okay. Have your I ate it all. Okay. I want more. Okay. Thank you. I bought three, oh but I ate God. one. <laughs> Oh, happy Galentine's Day. Happy Galentine's Oh my, oh, there's two? Yes! Oh, is it oh, oh it's God. too big. No, it's so cute. They, no, it's not, it's also, not. Also, they didn't have oatmeal. They, they had mushroom. Like, uh, what's mushroom? It was this dirty, like, oh. if you, like, dropped white in sewer uh. water. <laughs> Who wants that color? Oh my God. You see, it looks so cute. <gasps> and then you can... Oh, there's this little bow, too. That's so cute. That you can, like... Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay. <gasps> Success. Thank you. So I just got back from the mall and here's the thing. I went in there thinking I was going to make money because I had to go return something. And I don't want to pay because you know most stores make you like pay a return fee now. I was like, you know what? Let's not pay that $5 fee. Let's waste $10 in gas money and go over to the mall and get my money back and make money because I'm returning things because you know girl math. And on in the store i was like oh get 30 percent off sale items i was like you know what i normally don't shop in stores but let's take this opportunity and go shop the sale rack so i scoured that rack for a deal and also mind you i really really need to go use the restroom but like hannah hold it in hold it in now is not the time go find a deal so i found these pair of jeans and they were like 35 dollars. and if you think about it in this economy 35 dollars for a pair of jeans is not too bad you know but in my head i was like you know what this is 35 dollars is technically the sale price but for me this is a regular price because i was supposed to get 30 percent off you can tell i didn't get the 30 percent off but so it's 35 dollars, and i was like you know what with the 30 percent just kind of will turn out to like including tax like maybe like 27 28 dollars so anyway so i grabbed the jeans i tried it on they were cute they were they were cute you know so i was like you know what let's buy it it's cheap it's a good everyday jeans so i went to the cash register and then he said my total was 38 dollars i'm like mm, that's not right because it's 35 dollars plus 30 percent off so it would no way be 38 dollars so i was like you know hey like i saw a sign that said 30 percent off and he was like yeah that's open and a normal person or a stronger person would have been like oh okay then never mind i won't take it you know what i did i was like oh okay i was just curious great i'll take it with a big smile on my face so <sighs> it's my fault is what i'm saying so now i have to come back again next week to return what i got today 
Can you even return seal items? I'm not sure, but just thought I'd share. I love when I do this to myself. Why can't I speak up? So I'm back home and let's bounce back or let me bounce back from that shopping trip that took an unexpected turn by making some delicious dinner. So on the menu today is going to be sundubu jjigae or soft tofu stew and yubu chobap. Yubu chobap is like fried bean curd pockets and then you stuff them with like rice that's like marinated in this vinegar slash sugar mixture and then you can throw some veggies or protein whatever you'd like but I'm just gonna use this pre packed situation and then just make my own rice and veggie mixture and that is dinner so I shall show you how I'm gonna make it it's not an exact recipe I'm just gonna eyeball everything So I'm gonna start making the the seasoning for the soup, which is what it's called. I call it a paste that you throw into the broth. So maybe like I want to say this is honestly an eyeball. I add more as I go. But let's just start off with two, one and a half, one and a half spoons of red pepper powder. Just a little bit of sugar to balance out the spice. A couple splashes of fish sauce. A little bit of um, soup soy sauce. I'm going to grate in some garlic. Not garlic, I'm sorry, grating in some ginger. I also have a knob of like frozen garlic, minced frozen garlic, courtesy of my harmony, my grandma. I can't remember if I normally put in gochujang or hot pepper paste, but I'm just going to do it today. Just a little bit, just in case I normally didn't put it in. Maybe like a spoon. That should be good enough. And then I'm going to add some chicken stock just to thin out the sauce a little bit. And there we have the base for our sundubu chicken. abundance of energy so while I have it I'm gonna show you some of my February favorites I've noticed a lot this month that there are a couple of things that I really do enjoy using on a day-to-day -day basis so I thought I'd share and first up is the hair care category which is very surprising to me because I'm my, I'm very low maintenance when it comes to my hair care routine if you can call it a routine and I don't put a lot of time and effort into my hair as you can probably tell but hair care was a good category for me for this month and first up is a shampoo it's the Aromatica Rosemary Scalp Scaling Shampoo. And first point, the smell of this is so good. I know it says rosemary, but it's not as like herb, herb smelling as you might expect. It smells closer to a lemon lime soda with the slight rosemary infusion. And so I, it feels very relaxing and spa-like. Sorry, it's like wet. Yeah, it's very it's a very relaxing calming scent it's supposed to be a really scalp focused product and you know sometimes when you use like scalp clearing stuff it can be a little bit irritating depending on your sensitivity in your scalp my scalp is very sensitive but this one cleans my scalp like it feels so nice and clean but it doesn't irritate it i don't notice any bumps or like redness after using it so i will definitely be repurchasing so next up on hair care is going to be conditioner it's this conditioner bar from flora flora i believe it's in the silk line and the citrus growth scent i have tried one other scent out from them but i do prefer this one it's not the same as the aromatica rosemary but it's along the similar vibe of like it's a little bit citrusy but it's also the perfect level of a spa herbal scent and so i really like it and my hair is um on the thinner finer side and it does dry out pretty easily so i tend to 
in my conditioner, I want something that's hydrating but also lightweight, which is really hard to find because what happens with hydrating conditioners is it tends to weigh down your hair. And this conditioner provides the perfect level of moisture without weighing down my hair, I've noticed. So I really like that. It's my third bar because I really wanted to give it a fair shot before I let y'all know. And I will keep repurchasing this because I really, really do like it. In the beginning, it was definitely a learning curve because um, when you um, use like liquid pump shampoos, it spreads throughout your hair easily. But then with the bar, you have to make sure your hair is like wet, not just wet, wet, but like drenched. And then just give it a couple strokes and just take a little extra time to like really massage it into your ends. And then it works beautifully and I really do like it. So I will keep repurchasing on that. So next up is a bag. And it's this red heart bag from Affection Boulevard. Affection Boulevard. And let me just show you from far away so you can see the shape. But it's a heart, y'all. Like, isn't that so cute? And the attention to detail, like the stitching is a heart. The zipper is a heart. And the best part was they had like this leather mirror that like hung off the strap. But I was closing my car door and I slammed it into the mirror and it cracked and it broke so I had to throw it away. But even still, it's so cute. And it's a like a medium sized bag, which I really love because don't get me wrong, I like my tiny bags. But I just am very messy and I carry on too much stuff for me to use a tiny bag in my day to day life. This is the perfect size. I throw in my wallet, my makeup bag, my books, my crochet stuff, and it still has room. And so I love it. And it's just the color is amazing and it's in canvas. So the fabric is not finicky. I don't have to worry about it like getting too dirty too fast, but it's in red. And I don't have to worry about it getting it wet or anything. And it's perfection, 10 out of 10. Next up is my Adidas Sambas, just the black ones. And I know they're a basic sneaker and I know a lot of people have it, but I just don't understand why that's a bad thing. Like sometimes people call you basic, like it's like an insult or a bad thing, but I just don't see where that's a bad thing. We're in the world of like millions and billions of people, like a bunch of us are able to share joy in the same thing. I think that's a beautiful thing to be able to partake, partake in the collective joy. So if anyone calls you basic and uses it as an insult, just brush it off because hey, what is so bad about all of us enjoying the same thing? It's beautiful, it's cute, and it's functional. Like these shoes, I have the original white Sambas and I've been meaning to get other colors, but you know, gotta limit my shopping situation. So, but I finally got around to getting these and these go with everything and they go with dresses, they go with skirts, they go with pants, they go with everything. So I find myself reaching for them like a couple times a week and they're cute. So I really, 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 I like them. And that's all for like my physical favorites. I do have like a music favorite that I do want to share with y'all. It's not a recent album, I believe, but it's by an artist named Ash and I did like a lot of her songs before but I kind of forgot about them and then recently she came up on my recommended like playlist and then I listened to her album it's this one and yes I have Apple music I don't have Spotify but it's Ray by Ash and there's not a single song on this album that I don't like like every single song on here like I feel like there's something in here for everyone you know so if you ever get bored, if you need something like semi-relaxing to listen to, or if you're just curious, I do recommend you listen to her because this is what I usually play when I go work out or I take a walk around the park. And yeah, that is all for my favorites. Thank you for listening. Bye. You know what, actually, before I go, I just wanted to share something really funny. I was trying to clean up my um, bathroom sink and I discovered something that made me cackle like I'm sure a lot of us with Asian par immigrant parents can relate but their love language is kind of gift giving because they're too busy to give us quality time and they're just not comfortable with expressing their emotions through words so I still to this day have not heard I love you from my parents but they will buy me so much of the things that they know I enjoy like what they do is they'll come into my bathroom they'll scan my products and then if they see them at Costco or like a market that they go to they'll not buy one they won't buy two they'll buy like four or five and this is the prime example like 
My parents usually buy um, toothpaste from Costco, but there's this brand that I've been using, Tom's. And I think they saw that and look what I found under my sink, y'all. Like, who needs this much toothpaste? Like, it's not even like a single pack. It's a pack of two, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have 12 tubes of toothpaste just because I bought one and it's on my sink. And it just makes me laugh and it makes me feel warm inside. And my parents are so cute sometimes because they do this. It's like, it's, you don't even have to ask them for it. They see it and then they'll run with the wind with it. So I just thought it was cute and I wanted to share. So I'm back from my walk. It took me a little over an hour. It's 7.55 right now because I decided to walk the reservoir twice. There's some mornings where I feel like I have a lot of thoughts because you know early mornings and like late nights are the time for like deeper thoughts. And some days I'm filled with like a thousand different things and some days I'm just like completely blank. Today was one of those days where it was completely blank. Um, the album of my walk today was Olivia Rodrigo's Guts. I've never listened to her full album, only like her most popular songs. And I really liked the album. Like, I really did like it. So I'm going to probably listen to it again next time. But my goal for these walks is I was journaling and I realized one of the um, prompts that I saw online that was loud but anyways um sometimes when i don't know what to write in my journal i look up journal prompts online and one of the most basic ones is write down five things that you like about yourself and i couldn't think of a single thing i liked about myself which is kind of heartbreaking to me because there has to be there, i not there has to be i know there's something good about me but like the fact that i can't think of anything just kind of broke my heart so one of my goals for this walk for these walks is for me to like really get inside my head and be less harsh with myself and figure out things that I'm proud of, things that I like about myself. Because you know sometimes when you lose hope that like there might not be anything good about yourself because I was thinking, I'm like, I'm not the most patient. I'm not the kindest person out there. I don't think I'm the nicest person. I don't think I'm like the funniest person in the room, et cetera, et cetera. I know I sound like pretty self-deprecating, but like this is just at the point where I am right now, like to be honest. But then what gave me hope was I have friends and they're like really amazing people like when i look at them and they're like well, they're so amazing so if these amazing people want to be friends with me there has to be something about me that's like good and i have a page on my journal where i listed five th where i numbered five things and i have to fill them in throughout the year so wish me luck there has to be something i know there's something i just need to stop being so harsh on myself and figure it out that was just one of the thoughts I had on my walks. My walk today, um, nothing else really came into my head because I was so busy focusing on the music. But I'm feeling very grateful and at peace to be able to wake up early and to be able to get to a place where I can walk around and get some fresh air. So yeah, now I'm at the grocery store. I'm going to pick some things up and I'll see you later. No better way to end a weekly vlog than with the grocery haul. It just wouldn't be complete with that one, you know? So let me show you what I got. Um, I picked up sorry i picked up a couple snackies um from lesser evil first off is the himalayan gold popcorn um i tried the himalayan pink salt a couple times and never thought to pick this one up but then my friend told me about it and then so i saw a huge bag at costco and i got it and i devoured it so i picked up another bag it was on sale so yay and then from the same brand i also got the in um their space balls um i don't think this is real i think they're a vegan company it doesn't compare to those, you know, those like neon orange cheese cheddar balls. Those are good as well, but this one is, um, I wouldn't compare them. It's not the same. It doesn't have that like dairy cheddar cheesy taste, but it tastes really good. And it doesn't give me a tummy ache, so I like it. And then um, the, a lot of their, or most of their olive oils were on sale. So I picked up a couple bottles because we go through them pretty quickly. Um, I got two bottles of the Graza, the cooking oil, because something about having it in like a squeezy tube makes it so much more convenient. And then I also picked up a bottle of this olive oil. I don't know why, just because. And then 
I don't think I picked up any produce. Well, I picked up this cucumber. This is the only produce that I got because I pick up most of my produce from the Korean market because they are significantly cheaper. And then I also got a block of cream cheese because I've been craving this pumpkin olive oil cake. So I'm going to make it today. Some coffee. I've been in my yogurt phase. I keep buying yogurt whenever I go to the grocery store. So my yogurt haul of the week is going to be... I don't know if it's CG's or Siggy's. But then I got the vanilla flavor and the strawberry flavor. And then just the regular tub of their plain yogurt. Because I plan on making yogurt bowls, smoothies, and I'm really into yogurt barks right now. So got to make some of that too. And I believe that's it for my short but simple grocery haul. And I'm going to leave off here. So I would just want to say thank you so, 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 so much for watching. And I'll see you again next time. Bye.